All right, we got Leos with Why is a Good Love, CBT guitar lesson for Dave. And um, yeah, cool song. Definitely has an ACDC vibe, no doubt about it. All right, let's jump in. <laughs> Section 1A though, that's actually section 1D at the top of page 3. Alright, standard tuning on this one. Uh, section 1A, kind of a Rolling Stones kind of vibe. Um, I really like this. This is 2A, 4D, 4G, four times together. Very cool. Next part, bar the fourth fret, D, G, and B. And what you're going to do is hammer a chord. You're going to hammer 6D and 5B. When you do that, make sure these two fingers don't accidentally mute out the 4G, which needs to be ringing. See, so, rest, and then lift the bar to where it's just a bar, and then come back down and do that twice. So, then it goes 4, 4, 7, 7, D, G, B, E. Kind of a tough transition to do that, because there's no rest in between there. So, Jump over to 5 E and B, um, and then an A major, open A, 2nd fret bar, D, G, and B. You'll go 1, 2, 1, and it goes bar dive. So after the A chord, you'll go down, up, down, open, open, 3 on the low E string. So it's, and you're going to bend the 3 into an A5 power chord, open A2, D, bend the 3A, right back to the A power, uh, power chord, so it goes, and then he just takes the whammy bar and dive bombs it on that. That's the main hook there, okay? Two times, second time, no star. The second time's going to go, then you'll do this, then go after the double dots to a G. Three mute, open, open, three, three. So the second one. All right, section 1B, 16 seconds in. 2A, 4D, 4G. Just a B5 power chord. And then back to this thing. No hammering though. 4D, G, B to 6, 4, 5. And then four twice, it goes. So it's 2A, 4D. That's the ACDC chord. And then open 4AD, so it goes. Open 2, 3, D, G, B. And then I open 2, E, A. As that's ringing, play open E and B. It sounds like this. So it's like. A and right back to this B power chord and this starts over then it goes back to B5 G twice to an E major now this is open position E major this is the common way you would see an E major open two two one open open and it goes strum strum rest and then two more strums and then section 1C 31 seconds in 3E 5A and then quick rest, hit it again. You'll palm mute it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Two, five, E, A, three, five, twice. Into the A major bar. And that's a whole note, means it gets four counts. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That's cool. Three, two, B. Hammer three, pull two. Two, G and B, or G and D. So it's an arpeggio. You're going. Um, you can bar it, have it all ready. Four, two, G. And two, D. 
and then back to the G power chord, 3 E, 5 A twice, and then four whammy hits, one, two, three, four, to two E, four A, and that's a whole note, gets four counts. So after the fourth count, you're gonna slide it up an octave to 14, 16, you'll go. And then strum eight times once you get up there. It's the exact same chord, it's an F sharp five, when you move 12 frets up with anything like this, that's closed position, you have the octave of it. Yes, it sounds different, that's because it's an octave up. Everything's higher, okay? Um, top of page three, section one D, two A, four D, so it's our B5 power chord, dotted half note gets a three count. One, two, three, open two, three, D, G, B, that's our D chord. <laughs> to the rock G, three mute, open, open, three, three. Two, three, two on the E, and to an A major. Strum, 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 strum. We play all that now. And love that part. At 53 seconds in, two E, slide to three. Don't, uh, make sure you don't hear the two. It's a gliss slide. You don't want to go. Let's go. Okay, rest. Two, five, A. Two, E, rest. Open, four, A. Open, D. So it's... And then you start it over. Second time, no star. And then instead, you, now you go past the, the double dots to two, E, four, A. And you're going to strum that. 2 4 D G slide to 4 6. That's an octave. So, this one is the same as this. Just like this. Okay? So, you've got three different uh, spots that you're seeing how you can play the F sharp 5 power chord. Pretty cool. Uh, repeats here, finally at a minute 4. Next new part's the solo. Very tough to hear in this mix. I checked out a few of them, um, even with headphones. But we're gonna, I'm gonna slowly kind of run through this solo with you, starting on 4G. Six, half step, bend, release. Half step, four. And then four, six, half step, bend, release, pull to four. Seven D, two whammy hits. And then two minutes, 26 seconds in, we have four, seven, D, G. Rest, and then this run, 9E, uh, first finger, half step, bend release. 10, 12B, jump over to 10B with the third finger, bend release, pull to seven, or your pinky. And then bend the 10B. Next riff, seven on the E, 10, pull seven, nine, pull seven. 10, seven, B, E, down up. 10, pull seven, B, nine, pull seven, G. Here's all that. 979D, 7G, 9 pull 7 on the G, 97D, 9 slide 7A, so that part will go 5A, 75EA, and then a 2E, rest, 2D, slide to 4. What happened there in the end, because the rhythm they used behind the solo, was one of the rhythms in the song. It was, uh, uh, can't find it, but we were doing the slide up with the F sharp five power chord. So he's doing the same concept here, but he's using a single note. F sharp, F sharp, octave up. Okay, top of page four, we're almost done here. Repeats until the very end at three minutes, 34 seconds. They'll do this. So two slide three E, gliss slide, rest, two five A, two E, rest, open four open A, and then two four four A D G slide. Not much room to slide, so exaggerated slow slide. As you're moving it, just karate chop it here. There you have it. All right, Dave. Hope you enjoy this really cool uh, song from, I'm forgetting the band name now. How could I forget that? Laos. 
which we've done a lot of CBTs on. Thanks, dude.